Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mambalut's Math Tutorial. This time we will be discussing the probability of the union and intersection of events. What is the union of events? The union of events A and B, denoted by the symbol A, U, B, consists of all elements that are in A or in B or both in A and B. So our keyword here is the word or. So if you find the word or, it signifies that it is a union of events. How about the intersection of events? The intersection of events A and B denoted by the symbol A, inverted U, B, consists of all elements that are both in A and B. So the K word for the intersection is the word and. So if you find the word and, it signifies that it is an intersection of events. How about the complement of an event? The complement of an event A, denoted by the symbol A, apostrophe, is the set of all elements that are not on the event A. So our keyword for the complement is the word not. Let us have example number one. The following diagram shows the number of students in a class who loves chocolate or milk flavors. So from the diagram, we can see here that there are 13 and 12 students who love choco flavor since it is enclosed in the circle of the choco flavor. And then in the milk flavor, we have 12 and 15 students. And we have five students outside the two circles, which means that these students doesn't love chocolate or milk flavors. So if we find C union M, or meaning the students who love choco or milk, so that would be the students which are 13, 12, and 15, since they both love choco or milk. So we have 13 plus 12 plus 15, which is equal to 40. So there are 40 students who love choco or milk. How about if we find C intersection M, which means these are the students who love choco and milk. So both choco and milk. So there are only 12 students, which is the intersection of the choco and milk. So we have 12 students who love choco and milk flavors. How about the C complement? When we say complement, it signifies the word not. So these are the students who doesn't love choco flavor. So we so if the circle in red loves the choco flavor, therefore outside of that circle doesn't love the choco flavor, which are 15 and 5. So the C complement is equal to 15 plus 5, which is equivalent to 20. Example number 2. A survey is conducted whether a student likes basketball, volleyball, or soccer. So from our Venn diagram here, observe that we have in the circle of a basketball, we have 8 students, so like basketball only, then 3, 5, and 4. And we have 2 students who are outside of the three circles which means that these two students doesn't like any of the different sports so if we need to find b union v so we need to add all the students that are enclosed in the circle of the basketball and volleyball which are there colored in red so adding all up the numbers involved in that circles are we have 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. So, sum it all up. That is equal to 36. So, B union V is equal to 36. How about if we find V intersection S? So, the students who love volleyball and soccer. So, th these are students who both love volleyball and soccer. So, if we have circles for volleyball and soccer, we will only focus of the students with their intersection, which are the numbers 5 and 6. So, V intersection S is equal to 5 plus 6, 
which is equal to 11. Now let us recall the formula of the probability of an event. So P of event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of all possible outcomes. Now let us go back to example number one, which shows the number of students who love chocolate or milk flavors. So question number one, if a student is chosen, what is the probability that a chocolate lover is picked? So if we have this circle for the chocolate lover, so following the formula now of our probability, so the probability that a student loves choco would be 13 plus 12, which involves in the choco circle, divided by all the numbers in the diagram, which are 13, 12, 15, and 5. So that would be now equal to 25 over 45, which can be reduced to 5 over 9. So we have 5 over 9 probability that a student chosen loves choco flavor. Question number 2. If a student is chosen, what is the probability that a chocolate and a milk lover is picked? So since we have the word and, so we are referring to the intersection of the two sets. So the probability now of C intersection M would be 12 over all the numbers in the diagram. So we have 12 over 45, which can be reduced to 4 over 15. Next is, what is the probability that the student choose and loves only the milk flavor? So since we are referring to the word only, so we will not include the number of students who loves milk and also loves choco. So we are only referring to 15. So therefore, the probability of having milk only is 15 over all the numbers in the diagram. So we have 15 over 45, which is equal to 1 third. Number 4. If a student again is chosen, what is the probability that the student chosen doesn't love the choco or the milk flavor? So since we have the word doesn't, so it refers to a complement. So that which means the complement of C union M. So all the numbers outside the circle is 5. So we have 5 over all the students surveyed so we have 5 over 45 which is equal to 1 over 9. Now let's go back to our example number 2 in which we survey the students if they like the different sports. So question number 1. If a student is chosen, what is the probability that the student chosen likes basketball or soccer? So since we use the word or, so we are referring to the union of the basketball and soccer. So we will be computing for P of B union S, which are in the numerator are all the numbers inside the circle of basketball and soccer divided by all the numbers which are found in the diagram. So adding it all up, we have 33 over 45, which can be reduced to 11 over 15. Question number two. If a student is chosen, what is the probability that the student chosen likes volleyball only? So in here, since we have the word only, so we will be referring to the students who love volleyball but not basketball and soccer, which is... The probability of V only is just the 10 students, which is inside in the circle of the volleyball, but not on the basketball and soccer. So we have 10 over all the students, so that would be 10 over 45, which can be reduced to 2 over 9. Example 3. If a student is chosen again, what is the probability that the student chosen likes volleyball and soccer? So since we use the word and, so we are referring to the intersection of sets. 
So, we have to find the probability of V intersection S, which are the numbers inside the intersection of the circle of the valuable and soccer, which are 5 and 6. So, that would be now 11 over 45. And question number 4. If a student is chosen, what is the probability that the student chosen doesn't like basketball or soccer? So, again, we use the word doesn't. So, it implies that it is a complement. So, we need to find the probability of the complement of B union S. So, we will be referring to the students outside the circle of the basketball or soccer. So, that would be the students which loves volleyball and the students who doesn't love any of the sports. So, we have 10 plus 2 which is now equal to 12 over 45 and can be reduced to 4 over 15. Now it's your turn to answer your activity sheets. I hope you learned something from what we have discussed today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. At your service, Mambalot.